When I look at, back at my life at some of the most transformative and impactful moments, uh, many of them center around the sacrament of reconciliation. When I think about the ability we Catholics have to step into a confessional and, and confess and give our sins to a, to a priest standing in persona Christi and have ourselves confess our sins to God and, and receive reconciliation and to be free of those sins is, is very powerful and exciting. So when I look at the possible priesthood and, and what I think I, I, will excite me and what I'm looking forward to, uh, to have the power and the ability to do that, to stand in the person of Christ uh, for the people of our diocese. That's something that, that I'm very passionate about and, and looking forward to in, in a big way. Many of the most important moments in my life are, are times when I simply went to a priest, whether I, I called him up, pulled him aside, or, or stopped by the rectory or his office, and simply said, Father, I, I need to, I, I want to go to confession. And, and the, the priests of our diocese, with their unbelievable ability and willingness to give their time, talents, and treasures uh, to the people of the diocese. And for them, it's almost a second nature. It's, it's not even a question. Yes, of course you can go to confession. No matter what the time, no matter what else they have going on, to give up that, to step outside of whatever they're doing and say, come here, my son. I know you need to go to confession. What is wrong? To, to think about that, and so the, the sacrament of reconciliation but, but in another large way, the ability and the willingness to give of my time, uh, to be a person that it's two in the morning and someone needs to talk or something that's happened, uh, to be a person that, that they call, that they're looking forward to, that through our special relationship with Christ, to make Christ present to them in these, some of these most difficult uh, times of their life, through their great struggles and the things that are, that are going wrong, that they just need somebody to talk to and to listen. Uh, to be able to do that for the people of the diocese, blows me away and our priests in this diocese do such an unbelievable job of doing that of giving up their time and to be in this great witness to Christ and anytime somebody needs them to be there for them so when I think about that so when I think about being able to to forgive sins in the name of Christ to give people comfort during their times of struggle um, to make them feel free and pure and to help them to know and recognize that no matter what they're a son or a daughter of Christ it's such an unbelievable blessing, and we have great witnesses to that in our priests of this diocese. So I look forward to that. I pray to God that someday I'm able to do that for these people of our diocese, and to give them my time especially. It excites me a lot, and I look forward to it.